from After Dark, World Headquarters, Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. This is your favorite correspondent, Katie, welcoming you to another edition of The Morning Report. We should start off with my Hall of Fame today. I'll bring the camera over here so you can see much better. I have two real autographs to show you. Vanessa Del Rio, or Del Rio, however you'd like to say it, went to a porn shop and got her autograph. I have a picture of her and I together somewhere. Anyway, I put my hands around her waist. She looked at me and she said, you know what? I just got a new tit job, 44 double Ds. And I believe it. Check this out. Why haven't you got your Janice Blythe, the Hills Have Eyes stickers yet? Don't you know this is available? Don't you know you need to get this good hot shit right now? Go to the Annie Scene page and you can find your way to Janice Blythe's page. Get you some ruby stickers. They're cool. Oh, and check this out right here. Yes, Earl Owensby. The Earl Owensby. This is his promo pick for Rutherford County Line. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, he's from Cliffside. Yeah, sat, sat down one time and his, when he ran his cafe for about six months in Cliffside. Sat down one evening and talked to him for two hours, and it was great. So anyway, my Hall of Fame for the day, check it out. And here we go again. Let's check out a personal development classic for a second here. I'd like to go to... Turning Mistakes into Stepping Stones for Success came out in the year 2000 by John Maxwell. The major themes are self-belief and mindset. In this powerful book, John Maxwell illustrates to you that true success does not come from any of the various achievements you've made in your life. Now listen, but rather comes from you being able to learn from your past mistakes and move forward from them using the experience to shape your future. Those who have the ability to put their failures behind them and overcome their fears so they can face the future with the right mind frame and desire to succeed are going to be the ones who obtain optimal success in their life. I don't own this book, but again, that's another one that goes on the list. So, some practical information this morning. Escape the Wolf. Risk Mitigation by Clint Emerson. I'll read you something about staying in hotels. Most first-class international hotels spend a considerable sum to ensure your safety and security. Fire safety equipment, closed-circuit televisions... And security patrols are often part of the hotel security plan. Regardless of the level of security provided by the hotel, you need to become familiar with certain aspects of the hotel security profile. This will take an increased significance if you're forced to stay at the only hotel at a particular location. Note when hotel security locks up certain access points after dark. Plan to use the main entrance upon return to the property. Speak with the bellman, front desk staff regarding safe areas around the city in which to jog, dine, or sightsee. Ask about local customs and which taxi companies to use or avoid. Do not 
do not take valuables to the spa or workout room. Note if there are house phones available in the event of a confrontation or emergency. Be cautious when entering restrooms in a hotel. On occasion, unauthorized persons use these facilities to deal drugs or engage in prostitution or theft. Female travelers should be alert in placing purses on hangers on the inside of the lavatory door laver, lavatory doors. Why can't I say that? Lavatory doors or on the floor in stalls, as these are two frequent locations for grab-and-run thefts. Ladies, you did hear that, right? There's some good stuff in here. Here's some more good stuff. Gene Tracy time. Gather on around. I'll try to tell it Gene Tracy style. Yeah! Heard about the lady who loved to shop for shoes. She went in this shoe store wearing that short skirt and no drawers. <laughs> She's trying on different shoes. The shoe salesman is trying his best to keep calm. And of course, he's right there with a bird's eye view. And so at a certain point, he just can't handle it anymore. And he said, God damn, baby, I'd like to fill your pussy full of ice cream and eat it. Well, the lady was offended and went home to her husband. She told him what happened. And she said, I want you to go down there and whip his ass. Husband said, now hold on a minute here. Number one, you've already got enough shoes. Way enough shoes. Number two, you shouldn't have been walking around town in that short skirt and new drawers on. And third, I'm not going down there to whip his ass. I'm not. Any dude that could eat that much ice cream... I ain't fucking with. I keep trying to imagine in the early morning people watching this and somebody spit some coffee or laughed out loud or laughed so hard they woke someone up. If that ever happens, since I, I really don't know what kind of impact these videos have sometimes, could you drop a little note and let me know? Well, you know, we follow Gene Tracy with Larry Flint. Are you ready? Get a grip on yourself. I can tie Gene Tracy and professional wrestling together. Here we go. An American professional wrestler was listening to his manager's advice about his next match. The guy's an Australian who has the lock hold that he calls the kangaroo hold. If he gets you in this hold, you're fucked. It can't be broken. The manager demonstrated the hold and the ways to block it. The match started, and immediately the American boy got locked into the dreaded kangaroo hold. The manager threw, up, threw his hands over his eyes in utter despair. Suddenly, the crowd went wild. The manager looked up and saw the referee holding the American's hand in victory. Back in the dressing room, the manager said, I didn't see what happened. How in the hell did you break that fucking hold? Well, the wrestler said, he had me all twisted up. And I looked up and I saw these pair of balls hanging in front of my, back, in front of my face. So I bit them. You'd be surprised how strong you can get when you bite your own nuts. Gene Tracy and Larry Flint. A lethal combination. And now, it's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. I am now going to read the last letter 
and the letter to the happy hooker. Dear Zavira, Zave, Xavier, Xavier, whatever the hell she calls herself. I just got done reading your new book and it was fantastic! I read your first book too and it was cosmic! I hope you write me back because I told all my friends that I was writing you and it would be a bummer if you didn't. I can't wait until your next book comes out because I'm sure as hell going to buy it. I wish you would show a picture of Larry in your next book because I'd like to see him. Not that I'm a gay dude or nothing. In your chapter, The Producer's Hoax, when that dude was raping you, I would have beat the shit out of him with a chair leg. He must have been a sadist. You know, the idea of swallowing sperm just turns me off. Anytime I yell like that, it's always in all caps. It may be good for the skin, but I'll be goddamned if I'll drink the shit. I wish I could talk to you and you could autograph my book. If you ever come to Bakersfield, make it known, okay? I'd like to meet you. I'm glad you were honest about your sex life because it takes a lot of guts to say you jacked off a German shepherd. Wow! Oh, by the way, I'm 15 years old. I hope that you will write back just once, please. I also hope that you use this letter in your next book, All My Friends will really flip, and even more if you write me a letter. Wow! Bye for now. Name withheld, Bakersfield, California. And that's it. I got to be on the lookout for more material. Xavier Hollander is just way too good. So now it's time to get consequential shit done. We're right in the throes of National Goof Off Month. Let's get consequential shit done. Remember, say it with me. Got the hiccups. I was going to have a sip of coffee when I tell you to remember. Always be nice until it's time not to be nice. Be kind to animals. Discipline equals freedom. Never complain and never explain. I got to get on the road to adventure. Great stuff is happening every day. And remember, get it done now. Get it done now. If I've learned anything in the last year, get it done now. Because you don't have unlimited time. And keep that in mind. So I want to see you on the road to adventure. Wandering the earth. And I hope to meet you wandering the earth someday. Where we can get into adventures. Have a great day everyone. <laughs>